scumballies are going to be here in a couple of minutes and uh, play live. It's going to be exciting. But uh, right now we've got uh, Pierre Poulain and uh, Francois Soria from the New Acropolis Institute. Is it Institute, Francois? Cultural Association. Uh, Cultural Association. And you're here in Toronto. Yes. And Pierre, you're in uh, Tel Israel. Aviv. Well, right? eight, eight cities in Israel. You Mainly the, in Tel Aviv. The New Acropolis is in eight, eight cities, cities in Israel? In, yes. Wow. Right. Great. And you're here in Toronto for, uh, you're a photographer? I'm a photographer, I'm a philosopher, and I came here, uh, well, first I hope you will understand my English. <laughs> so far, so good. So far, so good, okay. <laughs> so I'm here for three um, different events in Toronto. Uh, today, in the night, we have the opening of a uh, photo exhibition, which is called the uh, Geometry uh, of the Light. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, I give a seminar about uh, diversity, cultural diversity. And after we have a workshop of photography. And then I'm traveling to Ottawa, and then I'm traveling to Montreal for more or less the same activities. And I'm leaving Canada on the 23th of May. Have you been to Canada before? First time. Oh, great. And so far, so good. So far, <laughs> at least it's not the middle of winter. Uh, Where were you born? I was born in Paris. Okay. And I went in Israel, transit myself in Israel. I mean, I immigrated in Israel at the, at the age of uh, 30 years old. Mm -hmm. So I'm more or less now half of my lifetime with the French culture and the second half with the Israeli one. Okay, great. Now, is this exhibit that you're doing, uh, is it related to the, uh, the seminar on cultural diversity? Yes and no. Let's say that... Um, the exhibits began before the, the ID of the cultural diversity. But um, when Francoise in Toronto asked me to participate in the seminar, cultural diversity, we thought that we can uh, find something in common with the exhibit. The exhibit began in uh, January. It was already presented in Ecuador, in South America, and then in, uh, in Israel, and in a few months it will be maybe, I think, in, in India, in Mumbai. But there is a link, because what I'm trying to do with the, this exhibition, this specific exhibition, is to show how in different shapes, different geometric formats, and when I'm talking about geometry, I'm not talking only about geometric shapes like, uh, I don't know, the cycle, the triangle, the line. But you know, people, I'm a street photographer, so I'm just shooting people in the street. But you can see that behind the appearance of the people, there is always some geometric shapes. Just like Pythagoras said so one day that the universe is mental, the universe is arithmetic. And you have some arithmetic shapes or pattern mm -hmm. to say that is coming back and you can see it. And it may be. 12 photo, it will be, I will present 12 photographies from 12 different cultures, 12 different places, from Europe, from America, from Israel, from Asia, and different scenes. But there is one unity, there is something which comes back and comes up and you, you will see it, it's possible to recognize it in every one of those different diversity, different photography, a culture. And this is the unity. So this is the unity of the light. I want to show that the light is the same one. Is in Canada or in Tel Aviv? It's the same light. It's the same sun. There's no difference. You know that's a unity. The human being is the same human being. It will express his particularity in a different way because cultures are different. But at the end, it's the same hurt. It's the same human being. It's the same humanity. So when we had the idea of cultural diversity, we said, okay, it's a good. Uh, it may be a good thing to join the two events, both events, because. I'm a photographer, but I'm also a philosopher. And I think, as I'm coming from Israel, at least I'm living in Israel in the last 25 years of my life, I'm Israeli, uh, we have this um, challenge very strong of cultural diversity in Israel, in the Israeli society, because the Israeli society is a society born from immigrations, more or less from Can last Canada also, mm -hmm. you know? from people, Jewish people were coming from all over the world. And we have the problem between Israeli or Jewish society and all the Arab culture around, mm -hmm. which is also a challenge. Mm -hmm. So 
to mix this together, the experience of the Israeli society, the experience of the philosophical way I'm trying to live in, well, I began before coming in Israel. It's uh, more or less 30 years that I'm living like a philosopher and try to teach philosophy and the experience of the photography so it was a good uh, opportunity to you know to join all those things together and to see how uh, philosophy can help photography and photography can help the israeli experience and all together trying to to present something and mm -hmm. uh, this time in canada all right so it's uh it's, would you say that uh, your your work as a photographer and and with the the philosophy that you bring to that work is it uh, is it an act of, of bringing people together and Absolutely. helping to ameliorate the problems between different cultures, different religions, and that sort of thing? Absolutely. I think that um, well, both are coming together. And I don't see myself today like a philosopher without being a photographer, photographer without, without being a philosopher. You know? When people are asking me what, what is my profession, I cannot say photographer and I cannot say philosopher. I say philosopher, photographer, photographer and philosopher. I try to, well, I say myself, I'm FIFO. It's a new word. You know? FIFO is philosopher, photographer. <laughs> it's, together. it's a new profession, new way of life. Why? Because photography, in photography, you will obviously take snapshots of reality. Mm -hmm. So photography is about diversity because you will never take twice the same pictures. Mm -hmm. It's always different, difference, difference, difference. But when you begin photography, you look at, phot at photography with the philosophical background. So this, this, this is just the same process I talked about um, previously. You have to see what unites beyond the diversity. And you begin to understand that the diversity is like a mask, it's like an appearance. But the diversity is not wrong, it's not bad, it's good. It can, um, how do you say in English, in French, in French, enrichissez. Uh, it's enriching. Enriching, okay. Can, yeah. Sorry, for, for I said my English okay. time. Yeah. It can enrich our own um, vision of life because um, you have, it's like a Plato, Plato, for example, talk about the arch archetypes. Mm -hmm. right? The archetypes, or I think another example, in the old um, monotheism religions, way of life, is it Judaism, is it Islam? Is it Christianity? So you have the idea of the, the unity, the one, you know, the one God. And, but the one, you cannot tell his name. For example, in Judaism, you cannot tell the name of God. Why? Because there is not, no sound mm -hmm. who can englobe all the sounds. Mm -hmm. So you cannot tell him. Mm -hmm. You cannot make the reproduction of God. Because there is, one, there is no one form that englobe all the forms. So any so, form would be a lie, in a sense. So all the forms together are different aspects of the one, different values of the one, different qualities of the one, mm -hmm. different way to understand the one. Mm -hmm. So different pictures can show in different way from different culture, the harmony one, the life one, the unity one, the beauty one, you know? We are here for different individuals. Every one of us has a different shape. Mm -hmm. you know? Two men, two women, different ages, I'm from Israel, you're from Canada, I think so, I don't know. Okay, everyone mm -hmm. is from, another, he, she is born in France, for example. Mm -hmm. And everyone is different, but we share the same humanity. Mm -hmm. We share the same fundamental pattern. But humanity is not you, humanity is not me. Mm -hmm. Humanity is not one of us, mm -hmm. humanity is all of us. Mm -hmm. So one, and another one, another one, another one, another one, and this can be enrichment. Now, there is another problem or challenge. I don't want to say problem because problem, nobody wants problem. Problem is, is not good. Challenge, yes, people want challenge. You know? Challenge is good. So it, it depends on us if we're relating to something like a problem or like a challenge. I prefer challenge. So what is the challenge? The challenge is not only to recognize the diversity. This is OK. Everyone is Canada and Israel can recognize. I went yesterday for the first time, well, for the second day, in Toronto in the street. And I saw multiplicity of community, Chinese people, Japanese people, Indian people, Greek people, Canadian obviously people. Well, everybody is Canadian, but you have a lot of different cultures. Okay. This is easy to recognize. But what is the problem? The problem is that every one of us wants the other communities to understand us instead of every one of us trying to understand the other one. 
So the other one, if I want the other one to understand me, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't depend on me. I right. cannot do no, so, nothing. Yeah. But if I instead try to understand the other one, I'm not looking for the other one to understand me. It depends on me. I so know. I can change something. Okay, but that's you, Pierre. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and me, maybe. Yeah. But what about those other guys that refuse to try to understand me, that refuse to take that action? And I just want to say, yeah, yeah. okay, because, of course, uh, the situation in Israel, mm -hmm. I mean, although I hear when I talk to people from Israel, they say, oh, it's not so bad. I'll be all get along. But, you know, it's a, there's a tension there, right? And it's a tension that's felt throughout the globe. Also, I got a phone call this morning from a, uh, fr from a fellow who's going to be on the show who met somebody from France who says, inevitably, that's his opinion, but inevitably there's going to be a, a, a cultural war there between the, the French and the, and the Islamic people that, that are settling there now. Yeah. You know, so what, you know, it's what, if we can understand that. But then the other guys have to understand it too. You know, how are we going to overcome all that? Okay. I, first, I agree with you. And that's the reality. But we have two possibilities. We can say we have no magical uh, remedy. And you say this? Remedy. Remedy. Mm -hmm. Magical solution. Magical mm -hmm. remedy. And. Uh, we have to understand this. I mean, we have to understand that there is no magical solution. I don't think also, but that's my opinion, okay? I don't think it's for everybody. I don't think there is a real political solution. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think you can impose a solution. Mm -hmm. As a philosopher, I would say that the only solution I believe to, and this is what I try to do, because I believe in this, is to awake the consciousness of the necessity for an individual to recognize the other one. And I'm working drop after drop, I mean soul after soul, individual after individual, to awake the consciousness not um, in, in, in a mass way, but it's a process. And you have to work with people, and you have to guide the people uh, through their own uh, independence and consciousness through months and years. And that's, this is philosophy. And if at the end of my life, the influence of the little work I have done can uh, awake to 10 or, or, or 100 maybe, or 200 or no more people, that because of my photographies, or because of the book I have wrote, or because of the, the influence, maybe they show me here at this you know, interview, I don't know, and something will occur. If one more, one sound more will say, okay, you know what? I will try for now to understand the other one and not close myself and not wait for the other one to understand me. Well, this is what I can do. Mm -hmm. And allow me to, uh, it makes me thinking about one allegory of the, the Buddhism of Buddha. He said, it is said that uh, uh, the Sermon of uh, Benares, one of the most fam fa famous uh, sermon, mm -hmm. sermons, sermon, mm -hmm. sermons mm -hmm. of Buddha. Uh, the story is like he went to to speak. It was a lot of people, and everyone bring a, a lamp, oil lamp, you know, to honor him. And uh, there was a, a, an old woman, a poor woman, who had nothing. And she had a little, 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 little oil. And she was like this, you know, to protect it. And because at the moment who came Buddha, came a little strong wind, and all the fire, all the lamp went out, wiped out. All unless the lady one. It was protected by the old woman. The only one, all the lights went off in the, in the world, in the world, but in Benares. So Buddha came, took this lamp, and with this one, begin to light and light all the other one again. And he said, until there will be one lamp light in the world, all the other one can be enlightened again. So I said, if there is one soul who understands this, there is still hope. I know it is a process, a long process. I believe I will not see the 
harmony, the peace, the, what you say, in the world, okay? Mm -hmm. But I know that the time I have left in this world, and I don't care how many times it is, it is what it is, if I am trying every day to do what I can, and if I can influence one, two, three, I don't know any people, so it's okay. And if I have no result, I have no result. Mm -hmm. But the importance is not the result. The importance is I know that I didn't make any compromise with my belief. I know that I have done what I can do, and that's enough for me. Mm -hmm. All right. So people, so and and your your exhibit is an example of of the work that you're doing, you know, to to to, to take that positive step, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. And yes. people can see that tonight, tonight right? Tonight. Now, where is where is it? And, and she knows. And can it. anybody just go for That's why I'm here. <laughs> to give the Toronto uh, related information. So uh, the exhibit uh, is taking place at the Center for Social Innovation, which is uh, not far from here, it's downtown. And the exact address is uh, 215 Spadina Avenue on the fourth floor. So it's Spadina Avenue, what's the cross street? It's Queen and Dundas. Well, it's between, sorry, Queen and Dundas. Mm -hmm. yeah. On Spadina. On Spadina. On the fourth floor of that building. Do, do we have any ability to have that address popped up? No. Yeah, okay. 215 Spadine Avenue, or you can Google Center for Social Innovation, uh, which is quite known uh, here. And uh, tomorrow's uh, seminar will take place at the same uh, center, but on the ground floor. Great. That's a great building over there, too. Yeah, yeah. it's very beautiful. So it's on the fourth floor tonight. And mm -hmm. uh, what time should people start to show up? It's starting at 6.30. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's going to last for about two hours. Uh, there will be a few words of introduction uh, by Pierre, by uh, a representative of the uh, embassy, the consulate, sorry, of uh, Israel, like the uh, manager of the cultural affairs, uh, who will also uh, say a few words as uh, uh, the introduction. And also Denis Brickney will say a few words. Uh, he's the national director of the Acropolis Canada. And he's in the building right now. Um, okay, so... Um, now, uh, so uh, on the first floor, is that the cultural diversity uh, Yes, indeed. It's uh, lecture? Tom yeah, it tomorrow at uh, 7.30. We're going to have uh, this, uh, this seminar, and we are hoping to have lots of people uh, who work you know, in, the, in the administration, business field, like decision makers, uh, because uh, you know, all Torontonians face uh, diversity in many ways uh, as, uh, indeed, a challenge. But uh, as philosophers, we believe that it can be uh, really an adventure of bringing together human beings. Yeah. So uh, this, uh, it's going to be a great, very uh, interesting, very interesting uh, lecture tomorrow. Now, is there a charge? Is it a cost to go to the, either the uh, exhibit tonight or to the lecture? Uh, so tonight is uh, free. Yeah, it's uh, free. And tomorrow there's uh, a fee, which is uh, $40, the regular fee, and $15 for students. Okay, that's and there fantastic. Is a workshop also. Yes, and there is a workshop uh, on Saturday, which is at actually the University of Toronto Multi Faith Center. Okay. Multi Faith Center? Yes. Where's that? I don't yeah. know. I don't know either. It I is. Don't know either. <laughs> 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 I have no yeah, idea. It's actually on Spadina Avenue, too, but it's uh, between Bloor and College. Okay. And uh, so it's a 569 Spadina Avenue. Yeah. Okay, that's great. And. Um, now, uh, Pierre, you mentioned you're going to Ottawa, you're going to Montreal. Are you taking the exhibit with you? And will you be doing uh, also presentations with New Acropolis in more those cities? Yes, more or less. I'm working with, with New Acropolis all in Canada because New Acropolis was the, the, the association which organized all my tour in Canada. Uh, in Montreal, which in uh, Ottawa, the next step is Ottawa. In Ottawa, we shall have the same uh, cultural diversity seminar and the exhibition, but no workshop. And after I'm going to Montreal, and in Montreal we shall have the workshop, but not the exhibition and the seminar. <laughs> so the only place where you have the opportunity to have all the whole package is Toronto. It's right here in Toronto over the next uh, <laughs> two or three days. We're the winners. Right, right, yeah. the yeah. right. Mm -hmm. well, although people, if they have a car, they can go back and forth between Montreal and Ottawa and get the whole yeah, package too, right. but they might have that's to do right. a little drive. And if, I, if they miss the it, well, they can go to Israel next week. <laughs> next week? You're going to be... In two, in two weeks. In two, two weeks. weeks we're in where, hey, this is the internet. Where <laughs> about in Israel? Where in Israel? Yeah. Well, they can, uh, they can look uh, exact, uh, the exact place and date at the New Acropolis website in Israel. 
So it's uh, New Acropolis uh, C O uh, org. Sorry, New Acropolis dot org dot I L. I L is the from Israel. Okay, great. So there will be all the information, but it will be written in Hebrew, so it will be a little bit difficult. Mm, very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Pierre, I have a question. You have a yeah. camera here on the floor yeah. beside you. Is that the camera that you use to take your pictures? Yes, that's the camera I use. Uh, it's a very little camera. It looks very little. Yeah. Uh, well, I have a good, nice story about it when I arrived in Canada, you know, <laughs> uh, two days ago. <laughs> after I, I explained why I have this camera. Uh, when I arrived with immigration, they asked me why I'm coming in Israel. And I said, I'm coming because I'm a photographer, a professional photographer, and I have an exhibit. And they said, this is your camera? And I said, yes, this is my camera. And they said, well, it doesn't look like a professional camera. Please go to the immigration to have more uh, questions because sure. it seems, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so people are um, obviously thinks that a good camera, a professional has big. camera, has to be big camera. Huge lens. Big lens, right. etc. Uh, I'm a street photographer. Okay. And I have to be invisible. Yeah. So if I'm coming, you know, with something like this, In obviously I cannot be invisible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I try, I'm trying to take a picture in the way of uh, well, a famous French photographer, which is uh, Henri Cartier-Bresson, who died uh, some years ago. He talked about the decisive moment. He said that uh, there is always a decisive moment, and it is not a sudden moment. It, it, it's less than a sudden moment. You know, it, something occurs, and I have to take this moment and I can I don't have the time to think about mm. how shall I uh, arrange configure my camera with the zoom so I try to have limitation of options for example I'm using fixed lens this is a fixed lens it's not a zoom okay okay so I have a 20 millimeter and that's all so I don't have to think about shall I use it at 20 but you millimeter? can zoom in no, with I that cannot. camera this is fixed <laughs> that's it. That you can't it. press a button I, on I that. I need it myself. Wow, the shot. Myself. Wow. Because I don't want, mm -hmm. I don't want too many options. Yeah. Because if I'm yeah. thinking about, I lose yeah. one second. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, the, 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 the most, the little one, you know, the most, and another thing. Is it's, it digital? It's what? Digital. Dig yes, digital. Okay. And for me, important. Well, I, I don't, I don't know if I can talk about brand here. Sure. It's late. Yes. Okay. Product placement. We it's get a hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we okay. get hundred bucks every time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have interest in Pantax, but it's Pantax. You know why it's Pantax? I love Pantax. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. working with Pantax why? since forty years ago. Really? Well, I tell you why. One of the publicity, the publicity you said, publicity. Uh, uh, advertising. 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 advertising of Pantax is uh, a group of um, chips, white chips coming in the same directions, and you have on the ships uh, all of the brands, you know, uh, I don't know, Sony, Canon, Nikon, I don't know, everyone. And there is, there is one black ship that's coming in the other way. It's called Pantax. So and that, I, I, I always like this. I'm, I'm just like a rebel also, you know. I like to go <laughs> at counter, counter, counter current, all mm -hmm. the things. And Pantax has this philosophy. And Pantax is uh, a little group we make f um, photos and cameras with special things, always innovative. And uh, it's not the big company, the big brand, like some other one, I won't say the name. And it fits my philosophy also. Mm. Because it's, it's, for me, using this camera is like not making compromise with my, my way of life also, the same thing. Well, listen, great, uh, great to have you guys here today. Great to hear great about to this. Here. And uh, mm -hmm. Pierre, all Thank the best you. with the exhibits uh, here in Toronto. Ottawa and Montreal and Israel. And uh, again, for Israel, newacropolis.org.il. That's mm -hmm. right. Right? That's and right. and, and in Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> and Francois. And uh, in Canada, uh, newacropolis.ca. Uh, okay. uh, and there, there will be pages uh, about Toronto's events with Pierre. And also, if uh, people want to see uh, Pierre's uh, beautiful photographs, like he has a Facebook. Yes, yeah, so you have yeah. my, my website. Yeah. Also. And uh, yeah, he, he has a website also. also. Which is, and you he has my, uh, Pierre. On my account. Oh, yes. He has is, already posted uh, a few pictures from arts. Toronto. Photos-art.org. Yeah. 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 That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Great Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. And we're going to play some uh, scumballies, and uh, we're going to come back with the band right after this.